later on we'll you know we'll probably be able to break those off oh, toilet pistol <laughs> we've had a toilet pistol awesome awesome after we spent all that money Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming and uh, build 238, which is what I'm currently running in experimental, has just like seriously like 20 minutes ago gone stable. Uh, but it's not on Steam yet, or at least it wasn't the last time I've checked. So we're going to do one more <coughs> excuse me, episode in build 238 experimental. Uh, then I'm going to back all my files up, all my saves, that sort of thing, and then switch to stable, and hopefully we can keep on going. We should, because it's the same build. We should be able to keep on going without any issues at all. Um, so that is the plan. I'm not planning on starting over for stable. I, I think we just keep going. Uh, also, I heard in the comments from you guys that... <coughs> excuse me. I was in my throat today. Uh, I heard in the comments from you guys that um, I'm that the fat loots for the where the silos were that kind of farming grain place uh, were in the very last silo, uh, and apparently I didn't check it. So we're gonna go back and look at that too, um, and we need to go back to the trader and turn in our quest for uh, for the last episode. So I just spent the night uh, mining as usual. Uh, let's take a look at our point situation. So yeah, I've spent points. And I have uh, the points effectively now up to seven. And then I put a point into Mother Load and into Skull Crusher, which means we're going to, and the next one's going to go into Boomstick. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to start um, using sledgehammers. In fact, let's make ourselves a stone sledge right now. And we're going to take it out with us. So my, my MO for combat is going to be to hit him with the knife to get a bleed going and then switch to... The sledgehammer um, to do you know more significant damage it still is in my um, plans oh <coughs> goodness gracious man can somebody pull this frog out of my throat <laughs> Good old. oh sorry uh, anyway um, it is in my plans to still uh, go you know start using hand-to-hand -hand soonish but we probably won't do that until we you know get heavily into the fortitude tree um, and you know strength is always always effective you know it, it's just it's good good old standby so we're going to stick with that for the time being so we need some stone and plant fibers we got everything else uh stone and plant fibers whoops and let's make this now and then we'll put this stuff back in here for the moment what are we doing how are we doing on food i've got six things of lamb chops cuts whatever lamb cuts uh, so we're doing really good on food. Plus, we, oh, and we have five boiled meats, and we're topped off there. So we're doing really good. But we're going to stop by, you know, the vending machine as usual and just check that out. I mined a whole bunch of lead. So, we're you know, we got lead coming out our ears now. So let's just keep this going. Um, yeah, that should be good. And, yeah, I think we're ready to go. So we're going to go to the trader. We're going to go stop at the vending machine. Um we're going to go back to that farming place and check that silo that I missed. And then, depending upon how our time goes, we might take uh, start the next quest. We are going to take the next quest, but whether or not we actually get to it in this episode remains to be seen. So let's go hit the vending machine first, and we'll get that out of the way, and then we'll go uh, talk to the trader. Okay, we're at the trader here. Let's grab um, everything out of here we want to sell to the trader. We'll put the food back in here for now. And this I actually, how much does this sell for? Ten, nah, I wanted to actually smelt that, so we're going to hang on to that for smelting. Let's check the vending machine here and see what's in here, what kind of goodies. Hackers, eye candy. Um, we could grab that. It's not really so much the money, it's the inventory space that I just don't want to take up a lot of extra inventory space. Um, yeah, what the hell, let's buy it. Let's buy it. Well, how did, it must be my lucky day. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank I will you take that. Okay, that's a great upgrade for us. Very cool. Okay, let's uh, sell to him. Uh, he probably won't. Whoops. He probably doesn't want this, right? They don't usually buy those. No. I'm going to keep that as a backup, though. And then, yeah, let's sell this other stuff. Uh, 
Excellent. Okay, so we're done uh, selling. And uh, we, we're still thinking about potentially buying these handgun parts um, to make ourselves a 9 mil. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it now. I mean, we're, we're actually doing pretty good on coin. And I actually want to run over to... I want to run over to Trader Chin up the well, road and you. see what she has too. But let's take a another job here. Um, so we got a fetch and clear... The 226, what is Can this place? Downtown filler. Yeah, let's go do another downtown. Thank you. Man, those son of a bitches are dangerous too. <laughs> but I love it. It's awesome. Okay. Um, you know what I think I am gonna do, guys? I, I'm gonna take my clothes off. Uh, what wait, what? No, I'm just serious. Uh, just kidding. Let's take the armor off. Um, and I'm gonna run up to Trader Jen really quick and just see if she has one more pistol part. Uh, then I will meet you guys back at the farm. POI with the grain elevators, and we'll see if we can find that stash that we missed. Okay, so Jen does not have any pistol parts, but she does have yellow double barrel shotgun, which we could afford. I think we're going to do that. We can finally get rid of this pipe shotgun and have two shots in the chamber and faster loading. So, yeah. Uh, so we didn't get the pistol, but we, we definitely got uh, something else that's just as going to be just as useful here. Uh, let's see. Does he have anything else? That we might want to get here. Um, do, 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 do. No, I think that's about it. What about ammunition? We we have a lot of nines, so I don't think we need to buy any nines. Shotgun shells, we could stand to buy a few more of those, I guess. Um, we can make those though too. Kind of hate to buy them when we can make them. The the thing that we can't we can't get in quantity at the moment is gunpowder. Um, does she even have any gunpowder? Uh, she has 20. Alright. Why don't we buy the gunpowder, and then we'll just make as many as we can, because I did find some buckshot. Yeah, let's go with that. I just okay. knew you'd find oh. something you'd like. Am I blind or what? What the hell, man? And gun parts. <laughs> Shit. How did I miss that? I don't know. But let's buy it. Okay, cool. So that means we can now make now a 9 mil. A deal. And we get a double barrel shotgun. Um, no, pistol. Yeah, so we need the six. The rest of this stuff is easy, easy peasy. Neat. Okay, cool. I don't know how in the hell I missed that, but hey, it's me. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys back. What we're going to do actually is we're going to go back home and we're going to get the ammo made and the pistol made. So we're, you know, we're geared up with the shotgun and the the nine mil, and then we'll go check out that silo. So I'll see you guys uh, back at the base. Okay, we're back at the base. Um, let's do a couple things here. We're going to put uh, the sledge in slot number two and slide all of this over. We're going to retire the pipe pistols. And the pipe shotgun. I'm going to hang on to them for now, um, though, just as backups. And we're going to grab this buckshot and this gunpowder and this paper. And let's make as many shotgun shells as we have materials to do so. I guess just six more. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I mean, we can make gunpowder. I don't have much coal. we got plenty of nitrate. So, yeah, we're going to have to find a coal vein for that, but that'll give us something. We, we won't use a shotgun unless we really need to. Uh, we'll probably use the 9 a lot, though. Uh, so let's put the shoddy here, and we'll put the 9 millimeter in here. All right, so we need, uh, let's see, what do we need? I think we need duct tape. I know we need iron. We got the pistol parts. What else do we need for that? Some scrap polymers and some sprinks. Okay, so let's grab that stuff, and then let's get the 9 mil. 
uh, or rather the pistol, crafting up here. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Finally get a pistol. Finally get some real guns. The pipe weapons have served us well up to this point, though. They, I really like them, and I like their role in the early game. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I do like them. It's just it's time for us to, to move on to bigger and better things, right? Okay, so let's put this in here. I had, an extra, I had a couple extra things I wanted to sell to the trader, too, so I'm going to run back over there and do that. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so I guess we're just waiting for the 9mm uh, pistol to finish up. we got a full stack of 9s there, and, you know, we're really low on 7.62, so I need to be on the lookout for those. Of course, you know, a lot of times we'll find those in the fat loose, which is really good. So, yeah, I think I'll just cut the camera here, and I'll see you guys over at the silos and we'll find that fat loots okay i think we might have found our first bug with well not our first bug but a bug <laughs> my, my bike was parked outside of the door that i usually use and i came outside and it was gone and i'm like oh where the hell did it go um yeah that's a that's a little weird let's get on it and ride i hope that doesn't happen too many times goodness gracious Okay, let's head over uh, to those silos and see if we can find the fat loot. So they're just right over one block down from here. Oh, uh, what? Okay, we got shenanigans going on. Hmm, I don't know, you guys. That doesn't bode well. Maybe we, maybe we will need to. Well, I'm gonna update to stable first, and then just see what happens um, before we do anything real drastic. But anyway, as you can see, we are cocked, locked, and ready to rock. We got a new bow, we got a new pistol, we got a new shotgun. Man, those are some nice upgrades for where we're currently at in this playthrough. So I think if I understood right uh, the um, the comment that it's this silo that the loots are in. Uh, what is this? That's 5,000 hit point concrete. Okay, so let's see if we can get up there and take a look and see what the deal is with that. Yep, there they are. How in the world did I miss? Oh, 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 oh. That's what the green switch opens up. That's what the green switch opens up. Okay. Because I flipped the switch. If you guys were watching that last, that not the last episode, a couple episodes ago, and I, I said, I don't know what that opens. That's what it opens. Okay, yep. Um, I thought I had come over here and looked at this, but apparently I didn't. So that's that's great news, though. Okay, look at the fat loot, you guys. Um, we got some eye candy, and guess what? I don't have it on me. That was smart. I'm not going back for it. All right, let's. <laughs> Good. We need those. We absolutely need those. How about some medical bandages? That was not medical bandages. Okay, let's do the two boxes, and then. We'll hit the fat loots at the end, because I'm a save the best for last kind of guy. Okay. Useful. Nice. And the fat loots. Okay. Good stuff, man. What is this? This is damage to humans. Worthless to us in this Let's Play, but going to be useful for uh, just getting you know all the books in that series. All right, what are we wearing right now? Oh, what we have is better. Okay, so we'll just fix these up and sell them to the trader along with some of this other random stuff that I have in my inventory. Let's go do that right now and get it out of the way, and then we'll assess our time and whether or not we're going to do another, um, have time to do uh, an actual quest today. Okay, we're going to sell you this. We're going to sell all of these because i got a bunch of extras. These aren't worth burning a repair kit to repair first. And um, let's see. Are those. This is slightly better, but that's because it's modded. That's probably worth burning a repair kit. And this is definitely worth repairing, but you need scrap for that. So I guess I'll hang on to those and sell those to him later. Y'all come back now. All right. So it is 1.30 in the afternoon. Our quest location's over there. I think... Yeah, let's do it. What the hell? How much time do we have? Yeah, I think we can probably knock this out, depending upon, you know, how tough things are going to be.
I did put uh, one point into to the handgun skill too. So yeah. All right, I'll meet you guys at the quest location. Okay, here we are. Um, looks like we're doing the yucca juice place, but it's probably this whole little block here uh, with the way the new system works. Uh, so this is a clear and retrieve. I want to put my... Uh, let's see. Let's put this in here for now. Uh, we don't need to carry this around. As usual, I'll get cobblestone and all that kind of thing later and wrenching stuff. We'll come back for the lock picks if I, you know, if we find something just to, you know, give us enough space here. And if need be, we will make ourselves a, a drop chest. But we'll see how, how well we do before then. Making sure everybody is loaded, locked, cocked, and ready to rock. Okay, let's do this. Um, So we'll start that. And we'll poke our head in here. It looks like our satchel is down below. Well, that's good to know. I think what we'll do is the usual here where we'll, um, can I get that in? Doesn't want to go in that one spot that I want it to go in. Um, okay. What about in here? There's something blocking it there too. Oh, it's probably because that's turned that way. Okay. Come on, man. You should be able to fit in there. What the hell? Nope, there's something blocking it. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, we'll just do that. Let's get this down here. We won't be doing the blocking doorway thing forever, you guys, but we're still not quite at the point where we can really start going head-to-head -head with the Zekers. Um, especially because, you know, it seems like there's a lot more of them now than there used to be. Okay, so I guess we'll put that there. This is not actually a good... It would probably be better off to block it out here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So let's sneak on in here. I'm going to turn my light off. See if we can get any sniper shots off. You know there's going to be Zeke's behind that counter. It's just going to happen. The other thing, you know, there's so many more booby traps in these POIs now, too. Falling through the floor and or zombies falling on your head business. All right. Let's see if we can get rid of this. Without getting anybody's attention. Okay, we don't have to worry about anything coming from this direction at the moment. This isn't this is more intense than it used to be. You know, I have I have newfound respect for Alpha 20 POIs. I really do, which is a good thing. There's really no zombies back here, huh? Okay. Have we been in here? No, we haven't been in here. Nice, we'll take that. Something's probably going to drop out of the ceiling on us. You just watch. You just watch. Okay, we'll check the sinks here. Since this is so close to home, I think I'm going to keep most everything, and we will just do a drop chest, because then I can come back later and... And, uh, oh, there's something that could have been a problem. Well, they could come out of any of these windows, actually, couldn't they? All right, let's just temporarily block these off. I'll pick those frames up later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's just make a drop chest. Um, well, actually, we could probably just use these things for drop chests. So I'm not going to keep that or that, but, you know, this stuff is has its uses. Let's scrap that stuff. We need to start thinking about a farm, so I'm probably going to start hanging on to rotting flesh as well. Okay, so we'll put all that stuff in there. All right. Let's get back in here. I'm really surprised nothing jumped out at us in the first room. And it also makes me very suspicious, too. So, this door's unlocked. Let's get ready with the shotgun. And put this back down here if we need to do quick repairs. 
Nobody gonna jump down on our head? Okay, so we get to go down there. Yay us. Before we do that, though, let's peek out here for a second. Oh, there's the post. <laughs> there's the post office we did last time. <laughs> that was nuts, man. The good thing too here is that we've, you know, we've already cleared a lot of these sleepers out of here uh, when we did the postal, or we'd be having problems with them, you know, coming at us from down below. I do need to go back and do some cobblestone harvesting too. I should try and remember to do that. Okay, let's go in here real quick. This is a bathroom. Okay, toilet pistol. Wouldn't that be something if we got a toilet pistol now after we spent all that money? It's the way it goes, though. That is the way it goes. Okay, we might be going in there later. I'm not sure. But obviously we have to go down, so let's go down. Let's do her. Um, can I repair this? No, I can't. We need iron ingots to repair that. Okay, well, we can still use it to retreat if we have to and put a frame down there. So, yeah, we're good. All right, very quietly. Our satchel is down in this room. Uh, there's a zombo, a red dot that direction. All right, let's do this. Let's get rid of this. The loot. Okay, so we got somebody's attention. It's just a darling. Okay. Easy peasy. Let's get a bleed on her and a sledgehammer. Off with the head. Okay, that worked out pretty good. All right, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that's probably the only zombie that was in this immediate area. She came from that direction. There might be stuff coming from here, so let's put a temporary block there. Get this out of the way. The light's telling us to go this way, too, so... All right, again, temporary block here. Get the triggers out of the way, and let's explore this room and get our satchel, which is right here. All right, we got that part done. Look at this cool industrial washer, man. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Check this cabinet. And this one here. All right, let's take a peek in this room. Hmm. So I don't see a lot going on in here. There might be something behind here, and if I hit it, I might get attract some attention, but let's just find out. No, that's a thousand hit points. There's nothing behind there. The light said we needed to go the other way, though, so I'm not quite sure what the deal is here. Uh, is that a bow? Yeah, that's a bow. A bow zombo. All right. Let's uh, snipe doodle him. Okay, we got the attention of more than one zombo, so let's get up here to our little cheese spot and do our thing. We're going to come up the stairs. Uh, hello? Hello, zombos! Okay, so we have two zombies aggroed. They don't seem to be wanting to come up the stairs. What if we put that there for a, the moment? Oh, oh, you know what? Maybe he can't get... He must not be able to get through that hole in the wall. Okay, let's come back over here.
What the hell's going on? If we're supposed to go this way, how do we get through? All right, let's go back this way. Yeah, I guess they can't get through here. Huh. All right. I did. Yeah, he's in a really hard spot to get to. Trying to hit his leg. There we go. Yeah, he obviously can't path through here. So, okay, that being the case, um, let's just go in there and thump him. Somebody coming back around this way? This place is confusing. Okay, let's pick these up. Check the trash. Nah, I'm not going to grab that. Why does the light have us go this way? I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, well, let's go deal with Bo, because obviously he's the only Zombo in here. Okay, he did. That other Zombo is beating the shit out of a bunch of stuff. Oh, there's another room in here. Okay. Temporary block uh block that while we check all the fat loots in here. Okay, we'll grab that. There we go. Jiggly, you the one making all the racket? We missed her. We missed her again. I want to save my pistols for more dire situations and also, you know, for, uh, because, you know, we want to stay as quiet as we can. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right. So I guess we took care of all the Zeeks in this area. Did we loot everything? It's, we already looked in there. I don't want that. Uh, there's a something in here. It is a old trash. Uh, yep. Well, actually, yeah, we'll take all that. So I can't open this door to get to this toilet in here. There we go. And we got a piece of paper. You never know. You never know. You might get a toilet pistol someday if you're if you're consistent and vigilant. Oh shit. That's just a crawly crawly. Okay, we're good. I'm just I'm so apprehensive about booby traps now you know and they're not they're not obvious uh maybe they are and i'm just not used to looking for them but yeah that's a thing okay there could be a zombo in there let's check this book pile let's get our arrow back there the lights shown us to go this way It's kind of weird that the light's underneath the stairs there. All right. What we're going to do is lock that temporarily. Yeah, that should be good. Let's check in this back room here. Uh, definitely take that. I'm not going to... Ooh, we got two zombs in here. And we just woke one up. Okay, they can't get through here. <laughs> okay, another jiggly. All right, she's dead and we got a skill point. Well, there's two more Zeeks in here. Why aren't they coming through here? Okay, so they're derping out on the wall over here. Let's help them out. 
Oh shit, that's 5,000 hit points. Uh, I don't think I want to wait that long. Come over here, dummies. Zombies are so damn stupid. All right, you know what? Yeah, come over here. Come get me, Arlene. Or, uh, I'm sorry, Marley. Didn't mean to call you Arlene. Oh my god. It'd be nice to actually get a shot off on her. We're gonna six. I so love the wooden bow after using the primitive bow. It's just the most useful thing, you know? Okay, let's just go take this guy out. There's too much screwing around here. Come here, dummy. Whoops. Down with the sickness. Okay, we'll check this out. Nope, don't care about the sand. We've got another stall we can't open up. Later on, we'll, you know, we'll probably be able to break those off. Oh, toilet pistol! <laughs> We've had a toilet pistol! Awesome! Awesome, after we spent all that money. But you never know, right? You just never know. Uh, oh, we can get to the toity right here. Nice. Okay, well, we found a toilet pistol, you guys, so there you go. I mean, just finding a toilet pistol, the the act of finding the toilet pistol itself is pretty pretty cool just because it's such a rare occurrence, you know? Um, so, yeah, there you go. Okay, um, I don't see anything else in this room, so I guess we go up. This looks like a fun place. It's nice to know we can run back and get through that little place, you know, that the zombies can't get through if we if we have to. This stairwell's a freaking death trap, man. I'll tell you what. Okay, let's get rid of this. Pop a frame there. And there's an opening to the outside here. Let's just put that stuff there temporarily to slow anything down that might be trying to jump on our head. Okay. Okay, we're good out here. Take the glue. Is this a working vending machine? It's not. All right. Well, we can take it apart for this deal. Grab that. Actually, I don't care about this, though. Okay, this is another restroom. The Zeke right there. Alright, so... That, ooh, that's a, a Steve. Okay, we're going to put this here. And we're going to pop him right in the noggin. Nice. There's another Zombo. That direction. Okay, let's go look in here real quick. Okay, we got that Zombo's attention. And it's a Marlene. Have an arrow, Marlene. Let's put our light back on so we can see here. Beautiful. All right, she damaged that a little bit. We'll pick it up. Let's get our arrows back from her and finish looting this place. So we got a stall we can't open. And I can't get at it from down below either. Can I get at it from here? Yeah, there we go. 
just have to be a little more oh nice a little more creative on those things okay let's leave that the way it is it's not perfectly blocked off but hopefully enough Then that ceiling's not big enough for zombies to be inside of it. So we don't, uh, maybe a crawler, I guess. Nice. Take two mineral water. Okay, so the floor could collapse on us, though. You know, one thing about the floors is if you stay up on the counter, then you don't have to worry about collapsing floors. Highly unlikely this part of the floor would collapse. Okay, we're good to go in this room. Uh, yeah, we'll take the yucca seed, save it for farming. Harvest that, buddy. That buddy boy. I'd like to actually get back out to the bike. Uh, we want to chance this floor. Mm. Yeah, okay, we're good. That's all 5,000, though. It's going to take a long time to break through that. They've made the POIs harder to, to just punch a hole through. Oh, I guess we could go this way. No loot. Okay. Up we go. Two doorways. Can I close this door? Oh shit, this does not sound good. Let's retreat to here. This was not a good place to retreat to because we can't, can't we can't really do anything from there. Oh that's a lot of zombos. Oh shit! Come here. Ah, oh, not good. See, at least with these weapons now, we have a chance to take on a big rush of zombies here. Whereas before it was... Oh, shit! Uh, you were sane? Okay, go this way. Let's go back into here. And under here. Woo! Look at our health. They actually lost us? All right. This calls for a little bit of AOE action, I think. Hope I can get it through there. Mm, yeah, okay, we're good. We have no points, though, in explosives, so that didn't kill them, but it sure softened them up. This one I'm going to stand back a little more for. Yeah, see? <laughs> I figured that was going to happen. Let's see if we can get it up to the top there. Nope. All right. Well, so much for that idea, right? So are you guys trying to break through here or something? I don't know. Okay, we need to try and lure them back this way. Let's just see if they come back this way make sure we're fully loaded okay over here dummies remember these guys got hit by a pipe bomber some of them did so they're probably not too far off from getting killed here we've got two uh three Three zombadoodles. All right, let's just go in. We can at least come in here so our back's to the wall. You guys are so stupid. Come over here.
Alright, where the hell do they go? One of them's a crawler. Let's go up here. There we go. Okay. We got a little little tap there, but nothing too bad. Let's get a bleed on you. Return to Trader. All right, we did it. <laughs> uh, this this was challenging and it was fun, but it wasn't as hard as the post post office. Man, oh crap, that post office was tough. Uh, of course, you know we again we have better weapons now and are able to more better able to more better able to handle you know the rushes. So there's the fat loots. Fantastic. Okay, it's 2023. Um, let's just take a quick look. I don't want to spend a lot of time because I'd like to get back to the trader before. Uh, you know, before they close so we can do our turn in. Uh, we'll take that. That just goes down back to the courtyard. This is where we were. Got some trash in here. Uh, ooh, that looks like a place for a secret. Can't really tell, though. Yep, look at that. And what about here? Nothing there. Okay. Anything significant in here? Possible fat loots up in the ceiling. Let's just take a quick look. Well, probably not fat loots, but loots. Nope. Just a normal drop ceiling. Okay, let's check for toilet pistol. And this... I don't really want, but whatever. And where does this stairwell go? Just out of curiosity. We got a trash up here. There shouldn't be anything up here because we finished the quest. There probably was, and we just aggroed them. And we got a bird's nest. What an egg. Nice. We have enough eggs to make two bacon and eggs now. Okay, let's get the fat loose and get the hell out of here. Car parts. Uh, okay. We'll sell that stuff. Working stiff. Nice. Got an anvil and some motor tool parts. I'll take it. And some vitamins. Come on, 762s. Eh, Alright, All right. fat loose time. Let's do it. Uh, bandage is always good. That wasn't super impressive fat loots, but whatever. It's okay, I guess. Did we already checked this? Yeah, we did. All right, you guys, I'll meet you back at the trader. Okay, let's see what we get. Many thanks. The iron spear and leather leg armor. Okay, I think we're going to take the iron spear because it's worth more, and we're probably just going to turn right around and sell that back to him. Uh, all right, let's take, or let's get a look at your inventory. We're going to sell you this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and uh, that, and this, and this. Okay, that gets our coin back up to 55.34. Y'all come back now. Y'all come back now. All right, let's take another job from him. Fetch and clear. Uh, which is this? Downtown Filler 3. I think... Really? I think that's I different than the one we just did. I wasn't actually paying attention to what the filler number was on that other one. Nice. Okay. Guys, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was a great episode. We got some really nice upgrades for our weapons. Um, we found the fat loots in the silo, and we had a really fun quest. Challenging, not quite as bad as the post office, but still challenging nonetheless. Uh, so next episode, uh, my plan is to back up my game files, upgrade, or, or update, rather, to um, stable version, and then con continue on. And as long as we don't run into any, you know, super major bugs, we'll just keep going. Um, if we do, then we'll probably have to start over. The, the, you know, we're not that far into this playthrough that it would be an absolute disaster to start over, but I'd rather not, you know, if I don't have to, because we're just now getting to the point where 
we can start, you know, holding our own with these Zeeks. And uh, I don't, you know, I don't want to have to go through <laughs> all that painful beginning process again if we don't have to. But we'll see how things go. If, if a lot of weird shit's happening, though, you know, I'd rather have a stable game and start over than the other way around. Especially, you know, once we start getting into the later episodes, we don't want a broken game at that point. So... Anyway, that's the plan. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And I'll catch you in the next episode. I'm going to do some mining. See ya.